Gentlemen, you will permit me to put on my spectacles. For it seems I have not just grown gray, but nearly blind in the service of my country. If my conduct heretofore has not evinced to you that I have been a faithful friend to the army, my declaration of it at this time would be equally unavailing and improper. But as I was among the first to embark on the cause of our common country, and I have never left your side one moment but when called from you on public duty, as I have been the constant companion and witness of your distresses, and not among the last to feel and acknowledge your merits, as I have ever regarded my own military reputation as inseparably connected with that of the army, as my heart expanded with joy when I have heard its praises and my indignation arisen when the mouth of detraction has opened against it. It can scarcely be supposed at this last stage of the war that I am indifferent to your interests. But how are they to be addressed? I know that Congress is slow, but it is my opinion that Congress is an honorable body, and given time it will do complete justice to your merits and your sufferings. So let me entreat you, gentlemen, not to take any measures which will lessen the dignity and sully the glory you have maintained. Now is the time to show one more proof of your patriotism, to rise above your sufferings, and by witnessing the dignity of your conduct, the world will speak of the glorious example you have established for all mankind. <laughs>